First, we got Perpustakaan Tun Abdul Razak that we call as PITAR. You can enter PITAR with your student ID card at the front counter close to the entrance. PITAR have abundance of books which is you can read the books you like, borrow and even make as reference for your excitement or notes. Pitar have a lot of choices of books, such as genre, language, and topic. For example, the language of the book they have is in Malay and English. This place is suitable for students who like come place to study or do assignment. Pitar have a lot of space that you can choose to sit. Comfortably. Furthermore, Pita have many games that you can play with your friends in your leisure time, such as Karam, Chonka, and also PlayStation. And now we will introduce our chemistry lab. Inside the chemistry lab, there are many apparatus prepared for us students to do experiments. There are flasks for measuring and storing liquids, and also a weighting scale to measure, to measure the weight of chemicals. The chemistry lab is where we do our experiments for our chemistry subject. Inside the chemistry lab, there are many apparatus prepared for us students to do experiments. There are flasks for measuring and storing liquids, and also a weighting scale to measure the weight of chemicals. There are plenty of other apparatus and equipment, but this is the one we mainly use. from me so because they are very understanding what uh, apa yang mereka akan lakukan so but uh, some of the students capabilities is quite low because some of them uh, tak ada experience and also tak ada back, uh, background in science so saya kena bagi lebih lah uh, untuk make sure eksperimen yang dijalankan lebih baik As a lecturer, so I've been here already. This is town plus. In case any of you guys still do not know, there is a market for every Wednesday and Sunday. Sell variety choice of food and drinks. Many students line up to buy the desired food such as keropok leku, char kway teow, takoyaki, udon, and many more. If you guys do not have any cash with you, no need to worry since you can pay using QR code that is very helpful for us as students. Kadang-kadang saya tak boleh bawa. 
Favorite apa nggak makanan yang paling favorite? Now, let's move on to Bilik Kuliah. Here are where all the students gather for learning activity that are prepared by their lecturers. There are facilities prepared by UITM such as air conditioners, projectors, chair and table for students to study comfortably. Last but not least, we have computer lab, which is we call as MK. Computer lab allows students to work on project and assignment that require access to computer and the internet. Computer lab provide projector, which is lecture can be more easy for lecturer and student to present the slide. 